Um, it's one of those cases that will never go away. You know, um, May 9th of 2021 will be forever um, etched in my mind. Sheriff Rob Hardwick says it is the kind of case a sheriff prays he never sees. The pain of it still felt in Tristan's community and in the law enforcement that worked it. But Sheriff Hardwick says all of that pales in comparison to the pain felt in the Bailey family. My heart is broken and it is devastated. With whom he has grown close to in the last year, often speaking with Tristan's father, Forrest Bailey. For whatever reason, we've been put in this position together, him and I, and with that being said, uh, we are forever bonded with each other and uh, for probably the rest of our lives. Outside of the gruesome details of the case, the role social media played also came into the spotlight, with Aiden Fucci posting this ominous selfie on Snapchat from the back of a deputy's car referencing Tristan. The selfie, what was your reaction when you first saw it? It's disturbing to me, but also too, it's actually helpful in the case too as well. In a cop car. Yep. But again, this is one of those cases where um, you have to use every piece of the puzzle to solve um, the crime. And in this particular case, again, we're using social media as part of that. Do you foresee any other charges or any other people being charged in this crime, Cons conspirators or anything else? Um, I believe now, based on the evidence they have, that um, there's nobody else responsible for the actual murder of Tristan. I think we can um, put an exclamation point behind that. But with that being said, of course, as we go down this road of prepping for prosecution and um, again, talking to witnesses, you know, things are said sometimes that you just, they didn't say the first time. Um, but as of right now, um, nothing has come out of the ordinary, nobody else charged that I know of unless the state attorney's office has something going on. As the community sits back and reflects on this case, Sheriff Hardwick says he hopes people will focus on the good life Tristan lived and the person that she was, not just how she died. You go to that house, you can feel the love in there. Um, you can feel her in that house with, she'd been memorialized, whether it be family photos and um, you can feel the love amongst the brothers and sisters and, and the family in that house. So yeah, I, again, for me, you know, it's, it's trying to, I wish I could close that door and, and say, hey, the happy day was over with, you know, the day before um, Tristan was murdered, but uh, easier said than done as a sheriff, because I know the family is gonna suffer forever. And as the case moves towards a trial, he hopes the investigative work the department has done can give the Bailey family some piece of justice. But he knows that justice is different from closure. You want to come to closure, but what is the definition of closure in this? I, I don't know. Um, is it prison? Um, I, I, I don't know. I know that, you know, for us is that we dot our I's, we cross our T's, and we pay a lot of attention to the family um, of the victim. And also, too, we present the best case to make this, um, this defendant be prosecuted. In St. John's County, Katie Jeffries, First Coast News, on your side. Mm, that's so hard. I know we've all thought about, what if I were the mother? What if, what if I were the sister? Thought about this a lot. Well, the trial for the teenager accused of killing Bailey is set to begin this November. Aiden Fucci is charged with first-degree murder. He's being tried as an adult. He has pleaded not guilty.